<clears throat> All right, here we are with the third version of the Balsarian here from Oliver Hurt and the Cyanesque. Last time I made a foolish mistake of not picking up as many weapons as I needed, so this time, or as, weapon, as many weapons as I can, so this time I'm picking up all the weapons. <laughs> Wait, I can't pick up all the weapons actually. Well, let's just pick up some then I guess, as many as we can. I definitely won't be grabbing the M tank though, that's not necessary. The dive missiles however could be very efficient here. Even the bosses that it's not weak against, since it just, you know, is heat sinking basically. Hmm. Holy cow. Wait. Oh no! I'm getting my ass kicked. The, that's not in the script. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's not panic in here and just. Whoops. Don't do that! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! <clears throat> Freaking plant man killed me. How often does that happen? Okay, but this time I know better. Yeah. You gotta... Just, like... Don't shoot in here. Like, all willy-nilly, you gotta just... Yeah, only shoot when you know you're gonna hit him. Basically. Luckily, he doesn't trigger the Walter cannons here. Yeah, you could totally get in three shots there. Oh man, now I'm just trying to get in as many shots as possible when I should just bank safe. Oh, about that was a pretty cool fight there. Pretty easy, but... Yeah, it worked well. It was a decent boss fight. Time, man. And he too takes two damage, okay. So yeah, pretty interesting room here. I wonder how he, how he, yeah, but yeah, I wonder how he will react with the room here. And yeah, indeed, he does get up on the lifts here sometimes, which is interesting. And yeah, dang, he just barely gets me with the clock hands there when he throws them down there. Or the kunais, or whatever those are, who knows? <laughs> I wouldn't mind actually if this was a little bit easier than the last one. The last one was pretty dang hard at certain parts. This one here seems to be at least a little bit easier here in the start. And I will see, it might it might change. <laughs> might get really hard here, so yeah. Ooh, Nick okay. Yeah, see, this guy only takes one damage, and now we're back in. Yeah, now we gotta pay attention here again. They were nice in the start, but now, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit trickier here. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> he jumped in between my bullets. Whoops. Okay, pretty nice, pretty standard Napalm Man fight there. And... Mm, you know what, I would not say for an M tank, it might come in handy. It did so in the last stage there. Ooh, and this here... Yeah, this is interesting, we have the freaking wind guys in here. Okay, nice, they are always blowing in the same direction there, that's nice to know. <laughs> that's really freaky, like, look at this! No, not yeah, yeah. No, not getting sucked since they are blowing me in the other direction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is kind of cool actually. Hmm. Actually, I didn't see how what score this one had. I think this stage actually had a positive score there. Like the other one was negatively voted uh, there. So you know. So far from what I've seen here, it feels a lot smoother this one than the last one, like a much better opening here, you know, with some easier rooms to start out with and, you know, the bosses don't feel like impossible to dodge either, like some of them were in the other pack there. So yeah, it's nice to see that we're going in the 
right direction here, you know, it's getting better. Getting better and better. But yeah, as I said during my in the previous boss boss rush there, the Toadman and the Pumpman was pretty interesting in that one for me as a more experienced player. It was fun to dodge that one, but yeah. For a casual player, that might have seemed close to impossible to do. <laughs> Alright. These guys are trying to prohibit me from entering the teleporter by blowing me in the wrong way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's pop an E-tank. You know what? <laughs> let's see if I can make this without pressing, you know, return to checkpoint there and see if I, you know, if I if I die. Yeah, let's 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 make it this into a game. Like if I die, like I basically lose is what's going to happen here. So yeah, I cannot refill my health by restoring checkpoint. I have to go through this with <laughs> with the tanks here. Holy crap did this here though. <laughs> what the heck? I think yeah, see things like this, like if we're going to do some pointers, um, like all these flame guys coming down here, it is definitely too many. Like right now I'm getting lucky, but you could definitely you know get into some situations where it is going to be impossible to dodge like this, yeah, like Things like that are things you should uh, avoid, like, completely, especially in a boss rush. Um, don't make things impossible to dodge, like, it's gotta be... It's gotta be, always be plausible to, you know, do. Okay, maybe we can do it on this attempt? Maybe? Holy crap! But yeah, like, if we are going in on the balancing, <laughs> balancing thing again, um, I think it would be fine to having these flames guys, you know, in here falling down. I just think that if there were less of them, it would have been an entire different story. Yeah, see, like here, that's just, you know, if you if you do that to players, you know, they might downward, <laughs> basically. Like, you gotta try and... Like, you can make, you know, try and make it hard, but at the same time, you gotta make sure that it's fair, you know. Uh, when it gets to certain situations in here, it doesn't play out fair. But, even so, it is an interesting concept here. But I think it, if it was refined a little bit, it could be a very fun boss room there. Yeah, let's see here. Getting the E-Tank. The a come. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god, this is a nasty combo. Luckily, Cutman takes two damage. Luckily, okay. That makes me feel very good about this. If he only took one damage, then that would have been, yeah, really freaking uh, annoying to be said, in the least. Okay, we're just gonna get under him here. Oh, I'm so scared of Nightman falling on me here. Yeah, but if you just, like, yeah, it's nice because he's, yeah, he just keeps jumping around up there. So if you just focus on Cutman while that's going on, like, yeah, it's all good. Oh, man, I jumped up into him. Are you serious? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of time here, but, yeah. Just make him land on his, yeah, make him land on the lemons. You know what, can we bait him down here? Yeah, nice. Get down here so we can do battle properly. Oh my god. I, I, come down now. <laughs> what are we doing there? What are you doing? Stop whizzing out. Oh my god. <laughs> he is really intent on being up there. He does really not want to fight. <laughs> that was a pretty interesting boss fight though, but yeah. Nightman has a little bit too easy for time to getting stuck there, so yeah. Ooh, this here looks interesting though, I gotta say. Mm -hmm, nice dodge. Yeah, this here looks like a pretty, pretty cool room, I gotta say. Nice. 
It's gonna take some time to kill though, like, since we don't have the chargeable buster here, but yeah. Shit, dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I feel like this series how you know, you know, you remember the Metal Man fight in the previous stage there. I feel like this is an a more appropriate number of crash lifts going back and forth. Like in, in, in Metal Man stage there were like, I don't remember how many crash lifts there were there, but there were like six or seven of them. Here with just four, you know, the boss eventually comes down, you know, you know so even though it is frustrating uh, while he's up there, it's just like, Moderately so, you know. It feels, yeah. The fight is going to go by a bit more quickly. Like if you have some, if you have too many crash hits, you know, you're never gonna get in any damage. But here, you know, you just gotta be a little bit patient, and you know, he's gonna come down eventually. There, so yeah, this here works out a lot better in my opinion. Yeah, I might have him this time here. Might. Keyword is smite. God damn it, he's gaining on me! No, 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 no! Oh, fuck it. Ah, gosh darn it, you know, I'm gonna use my E tank here. <laughs> I don't wanna die again. <laughs> I definitely can do it, you know. Buster only, but. Yeah. I don't really feel like it. <laughs> I just wanna be it. Okay, let's try and focus here because, yeah, he's gaining on me. Ooh, nice dodge there. Okay. Nice. No, that's nice. Okay, kill him. Kill him. Nice, okay. Yeah, he was pretty tricky. You definitely can do that, Buster, only you, uh, you just need to play better than I did, <laughs> basically. Yeah, we're gonna use another one of these bad boys here. Hmm, interesting. I gotta say. So, standard spin or top man fight here, but yeah, he has some help from the Komasa Bureau up there. Okay. Okay, so I see, we better try and stand yeah, as far out as possible, because all the top spin will go in towards the middle anyway, that's the trick here. Hmm. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting one. You know, it's chaotic without being overly, without being overly so. I just gotta stay focused here, and you'll eventually get him. Ooh, look at that, he clears them out by himself there. <laughs> I did not know he did that. Or maybe they just disappeared as they went by him. Maybe that's what happened there. Ooh, okay. Well, I had a good start, but... Yeah, I should probably stop to trying to get in two damage and just focus on killing it slowly here. You definitely can get in two. Oh my god, <laughs> the top spin side. <laughs> oh my god, it saved him again! Oh no, 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 no. Don't die. Don't die, Nick. <laughs> I died. Okay, here we are again. I got in a nice two damage. Yeah, there, another one. <laughs> it's yeah, it's very satisfying to get in those two damage turns on in there. Really shanks him up. Nice. Nice dodge there by me as well. That was not so nice. Yeah, you just gotta pay attention. Like sometimes you can't shoot it twice. Sometimes you need to actually, you know shoot the top spins coming down here, like, yeah, you could, yeah, I could not take a turn shooting in there, if I did, I would have taken damage. 
from the top spins. Yeah. It's when I, that's what you wanna try and avoid. You know, just play slow is the way to go. Try and rush it. But yeah, this has been a pretty cool boss fight here, I have to say. I like this one. And he's down. And yeah, should we just get some more E tanks here? Seven, okay. Well, let's use one. We get plenty of them, so why the hell not? Geese, uh, 21. Yo, yo, how many are there? This looks like the regular Ferroman fight from Mega Man 4, actually, but, you know, with the one ones here. Oh, crap. <laughs> wow, what a... What a crazy situation that was. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. Oof. Yeah. Well, once again, like, I took some sloppy hits there, but, you know, Mega Man 4 is my gang, so... Yeah. <laughs> I know him pretty well. There's another one. Nice. Like, so far what I see from here, this feels more polished than the last one. Like... It definitely feels more fun to play this one. Some more creative bosses in this one compared to... Part 2 there. And this one here is quite cool as well, like how, yeah, you gotta watch out for him accelerating and then you gotta jump in between the fans here. Yeah, here, but yeah, I was positioned wrong there, but yeah. Actually, you can just jump from there, okay. Yeah, let's just sit here instead. <laughs> Actually, that won't work, the lift will get you. <laughs> or the lift, but the fan will get you. Nice, okay. Oh, fuck! Oh. Okay, maybe. Oh, 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 yeah, that was a pretty cool fight as well. Really tricky. <laughs> really tricky, but it was fun pulling off. Hmm. Yeah, another interesting guy there. Another interesting guy to fight. We're only up to 20 minutes here, so yeah. This might be a bit shorter also than the other, or the first boss rush there. It's going by a little bit faster, assuming we have the same amount of bosses in here. I think there was 12 in the first one, so it sh maybe there is our 24, you know, in total after this one here is done, I would guess. Hmm, and this here is too interesting. You gotta keep those pits in mind there. Oops. But you're pretty much a vanilla Shade Man fight here. Oh my god, I <laughs> ran right to him. Nice. Just gotta be careful not to slide down into the pit there. Okay, um, doing pretty well, doing pretty well here. Oh my god, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice, okay, nice, 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 nice. Good guy, Shade Man. <laughs> Giving me a fighting chance here, very nice. Uh, very nice. Now, we're all filled up on need tanks here. But yeah, that shape man room was pretty neat as well. Like, you gotta just pay attention to the pits there and you should be fine. <laughs> wow, this here looks just like Bubble Man's room from Mega Man 2 here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I really like this room from a visual, visual, uh, visual standpoint as well. Or viewpoint, I guess. Nice. Yeah. 
as I said many times before, but like every time you pass by Bubble Man, he'll start shooting. So you gotta take try and take advantage of that in certain situations. There, I did not do it properly, but yeah. Okay, so there are a few more than in this one, perhaps, because now we're up to 25 here, okay? But yeah, once again, like, this has been much, uh, much nicer to play than the first one this far, like... Uh, no frustrating bosses here, like, everything has been felt much cleaner, you know, once again. Holy cow! Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Iceman deals a ton of damage, but he dies fast too. Hmm. Holy crap. You know what? You probably should use the winds here to try and dodge Iceman as well. But yeah, it's easier said than done. <laughs> yeah. I think here too, like once again, it gets a little bit too much, you know, with both out there in the open. If Windman or if Tornado Man was, you know, locked into a room, you know, separately from Iceman so that they don't, we're both on you at the same time, this would be much more manageable because, you know, say, this guy is all up in your face and, you know, you gotta worry about this, like, it just... It becomes too cluttered. Uh, that is usually what to try to avoid making. Like even when you're designing regular stages, like don't don't be too up in the face, you know, the player. It's gonna be a nice, you know, well-rounded balance there. <laughs> Did you see that? That looked kind of cool. There, how the bullets just kind of passed on in between both there. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this, uh, Buster. Only it's yeah. It's very hard. Iceman is gonna kill me if he hits me here, so I'm gonna have to do this. Hmm. The, the whistle, the missile works quite well in here. You keep firing while you're up. Uh, yeah. All right. Question mark. <laughs> Question mark. All right. So I guess this here is the. Final fight, um, perhaps. Ooh. Oh, this is actually interesting. Uh. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm all out, all out of um, floor and we only just began. Holy crap, though, is it lagging or what? <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god! What is happening? <laughs> Interesting boss setup, but yeah, I don't think it works too well with Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very interesting idea, though. I gotta say. Maybe just gonna run past here. Nice. Now he's gonna start chucking the big ones. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Pretty much works like Cutman, like he runs towards you, then, you know, he jumps, so, yeah. Oh my god, oh yeah, dude, that was close, but yeah. I managed to do it, Buster only, yeah. Pretty cool final fight here, too. Just a shame that it lagged so much, but yeah. In conclusion, this was a big step up in quality, in comparison to... The last one there, okay, this one had a neutral score, that's right, yeah. But, yeah, a big step up in quality here. Like, there still are a few boss arenas there that could need some tweaking, but uh, overall, in terms of quality, I'd say this one was a step up from the last one, so that's very nice to see. <laughs> Good job on the stage there, saying that's getting all the hurt. Uh, nice, to see that it's yeah, nice to see that it's going in the right direction here. <laughs> so, yeah. I will leave it at that, and eventually I guess the fourth arena will be out, so yeah, we'll just play through that one as well then, whenever it does, so yeah, <laughs> see you guys later.